Hi there, party people. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and fix some pretty bad scratches on my Mustang. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to use and I'll see, try and show you the scratches on the Mustang. Hope you'll be able to see them. All right. Um, I got it prepped already. I got it masked so I can see where the scratches are. I don't know how good if you can see there or not, but there's a fairly deep scratch right there in the clear coat. I got another scratch here in the clear coat that's a little, not as deep as the first one I showed you. And then I have another scratch right here in the clear coat on the quarter panel of the Mustang. So it kind of bothers me a little bit. The fact that, you know, I got these scratches, I keep the car pretty clean and everything, but I hate looking at those scratches. There's my daughter. That's why they call me Sting Dad. She's out riding her penny board. So, what I'm going to do is I bought this scratch kit from Walmart. They sell it anywhere, though. It's the Turtle Wax Premium Scratch Repair Kit. Looks like it's going to work. It comes with um, one of these clear coat pins to fill the scratch comes with lubricant sanding pads here and all different one two three four different fine super fine wet dry sanding grits and then when you're done sanding and filling when you're done filling the scratches and you're done sanding the section it comes with some rubbing compound here so you can buff it out and put the shine back on the whole idea is not to sand through the clear coat the clear coats pretty click pretty thick but um, you sand out those scratches and hopefully it's gonna work okay I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try see if this uh, premium scratch repair kit works or not I think it's gonna work Okay, party people, I'm back. I was doing uh, the review and trying out this Turtle Wax Premium Scratch Repair Kit. I went through all the necessary steps. You mark off your scratches. And... clean the paint of course now the first step was to fill in the scratch the deep scratch with this uh, resin this uh, scratch repair pin and what this does is it's resin and it fills in the scratch okay so you do that to all your scratches and then you gotta let it sit overnight then when you come back overnight the resin is dry and you uh, lubricate the scratch and you start sanding with the number one or number two grit depending on how much resin you need to sand off and then you progress to the number three which is like 3600 wet dry sandpaper and you finish up with the number four which is 4000 wet dry sandpaper and you sand it and you sand it and sand it till it's nice and level Till all the resin has been leveled with the clear coat. Well, I did that on all my scratches. And the one good thing I have to say is that the resin did fill in the scratch. So that when you drag your nail down like that, you don't feel the scratch anymore after it's been sanded. I had a scratch right here. And you can't feel the scratch anymore because you sanded it. You filled it with the resin pen and then you sanded it level with the clear coat. Now, as far as the scratch disappearing, you're not going to be able to see this, I don't think. This was the deepest scratch I had right here. It says if the scratch is real deep to touch up with paint, fill it with resin and 
and then do the next steps, which was the sanding, polishing, etc. Well, that might have been my fault, but I thought this uh, scratch wasn't wide enough or deep enough to require paint. But the resin did fill it in a little. This one you could still fill a little bit. And it didn't really work a miracle like I thought it was going to. Okay, so once your sanding is done, you always finish up with the number with the number four because that's the four thousand, and you want to make sure you finish up with that really good because that's gonna polish polish the clear coat where the number three might leave your clear coat foggy even after you use the rubbing compound or the polish to bring the shine back. So if you experience any any fogging after polishing with the compound go back with the number four wet it sand it again with the number four 4000 grit wet dry sandpaper wipe it off and then re uh, polish and then wax and that'll get rid of your fogginess so I know how to do things pretty good pretty handy around my car half-ass mechanic half-ass mechanic you know take care of things I would give this turtle wax premium scratch repair kit a 2.5 out of five stores five stars only because it doesn't completely do what it say it's gonna do but uh, it would take care of any light scuffs. As far as deep scratches, it didn't make it, dis didn't make it disappear. You know, at best I can say this scratch right here and this one over here might be a tad less noticeable. And you can't feel the bump anymore with your finger when you drag your finger nail down over it. But as far as cosmetically looking at it, you can still see the scratches. But the resin does fill in the scratch. Most of these products they're selling nowadays are scratch repair kits. They're just good for taking off scuffs. They're just good for taking off scuffs like maybe if you're at the market and the, a basket scuffs your clear coat a little bit. All these scratch repair kits will fix scuffs, not scratches. You know, they don't fix the scratch really well. You know, um, if you want to fix a deep scratch, you might have to really do a professional like get the filler putty, fill the scratch with putty, wipe off the excess, and then uh, touch up paint, clear coat, and then sanding. It's it's more of a it's more of a process than just this little little kit that they sell everywhere. But this kit is good. For scuffs, kind of pricey. If you just have scuffs that you want to take off your car, then just go buy a bottle of scratch, supposedly, quote, scratch repair, like Meguiar's or New Finish or something like that. Because that's all these scratch repair products are going to fix. Just taking scuffs off your, off your paint. But they're not going to fix scratches. All right, that's my review. Hope you liked it. Check with you party people later.